All right, we're here with Coach Clark. The uh, football season is finally here. First game Friday night against Gettysburg. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about how training camp went and how the team looked and going into the scrimmage as well, how, uh, how everything went? Well, I, I think everybody's optimistic at the end of training camp because you haven't played anybody where, where scoreboard's going to stay solid and be final. I think, uh, I don't think there's any question. Uh, we have some pockets of real strength on this team. Um, we also have some pockets that we need to improve, and particularly in what we refer to as our preseason, these first three non-conference games. You know, you might have a weakness nobody's going to see. Uh, by the time we get to October, people are going to be out, not only ID your strengths, but also your weaknesses. And I think, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. It's kind of a week-to-week -week issue in terms of what we're dealing with. But I think we've gotten good senior leadership. Um, for the most part, we've stayed healthy. I, I don't think that we're like everybody else, yeah, there's two or three kids that I'm not going to have that you wish you had, but, you know, that's pretty universal with the sport. So it, it, it gets to a point at some time, Jimmy, where you just want to play a game. You really get to a point where you're tired of playing against uh, with, your, with your own people. Uh, the preseason game helps a little bit, but to really get one that matters. And so we're really just kind of excited for the opportunity, and we're going to go out and try to enjoy it. All right, let's just look at the matchup on each side of the ball quickly. Gettysburg on offense, they run was it a wing offense, so a little different than what you see. Um, how do you match up defensively? Well, it's really kind of a spread, spread zone read, uh, fast break offense. And, and I think they had a quarterback that uh, wasn't the starter last year. He played late in the year and played very well. Uh, played in their big win in the game 10 against Franklin and Marshall. Uh, they returned a tailback that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was the all-conference runner you know, in the Centennial Conference that they play in right there. And I think that the matchup that uh, we hope we take, can take advantage of is, you know, they had to rebuild in the offensive line. You know, they, they returned most of their offensive perimeter, and, and we have an experienced defensive front. And sometimes I think when, if you can get control of the line of scrimmage on either side of the ball, um, the teams don't look as fast, and maybe a quarterback doesn't look as mobile. But that'll be the challenge on the defensive side. You know, on the, on the offensive side of the ball, it's a little bit of the same issue. We, we got to replace an outstanding tailback. Um, a year ago, when we went up there, they really took away a lot of our running game. You know, we had to become a throwing team to beat them down the stretch. And I think they're, they're a sound, smart, fundamental football team. And we're, we're going in anticipating the same type of game we had last year where we had to make plays in the fourth quarter to win it. And who are some of the key players for Bridgewater to watch this year on both sides of the ball? Well, I think any time you're talking about a football team, I think the quarterback position is important. Uh, you know, I have two people that uh, both have had very, played very well in the camp. Uh, you know, my objective is, as I told somebody going into the next three weeks, is I'm going to have two, I want to have two quarterbacks ready to win a conference championship by the 1st of October, and that's how we're going to approach it with, with Matt and Ross. I think seeing uh, the two, the tailbacks that we're going to play, we're going to go back to a little bit of tailback by committee format, where a year ago, kind of Jacob Wright really kind of just took over the position, stayed healthy, and was a strong enough to, to, to carry the load himself. Uh, you know, one of those guys are going to have to step up because uh, even though I, I'm comfortable with our wide receivers and the depth we have there and certainly our quarterbacks are experienced people that have shown they can make plays in the, fast, it, it, in the past, um, you don't want to go in and be a one-dimensional football team and we're going to need to run the football to keep people honest. And just last question, can you just comment on getting open up the season under the lights at home Friday night game? Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, I'd open up at six in the morning if that's what it took but, but I think it's something unique I think our kids will be alert for that uh, I think uh, last year you know when we played those two night games there was a little bit of buzz on the campus uh, I thought we had a, a great atmosphere and actually you know student development was one of the groups that approached me that said can we play more night games and so I think whether we're playing at seven o'clock one o'clock or six in the morning it, it gets to a point in, in your program and in the season and particularly at the division three level where you know, we have to, there's a lot of collateral duty, there's a lot of peripheral things that have to go into being successful and getting to a football game. And you know, when that time comes, you're just gonna go out and enjoy it and, and play. And I, I don't know that the time, when the game starts or whether it's under the lights or in the sun is gonna make a difference on who the winner or loser is. Uh, somebody's gonna have to execute and make plays down the stretch. Well, thanks coach. And uh, we're excited to see the team Friday night. We'll be back next week to recap the game and talk about week two. Well, I hope we're recapping the win and, and looking forward to it. And uh, I look forward to pulling the Eagle group here back together here on Friday evening. All right.